Here, take this I can't stand flat bullshit beer. Oh, quite frankly, we, it was much the same way as when they said, uh, here's that Grammy nomination, or, uh, you know, here's uh, playing at Wacken, or like any other cool things that we got to do over the last couple years. We couldn't believe it. We made an entire career out of being on everything, and here they are asking us to play at one of their nicest festivals. And Stevie Wonder is here. I mean, what do you think Stevie Wonder's going to do when he finds out Guar is playing? He's going to run. Well, it's completely different, of course. We've gone everything from playing little booth soaked halls to gigantic festivals with hundreds of thousands of people. But you know what? It's really not all that different for me because I'm a performer, a consummate showbiz professional, and I will always deliver a kick-ass show whether I have three midgets in wheelchairs or 8,000 screaming hippies in the audience. Oh, certainly. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. No, certainly. Yes. In Europe. In fact, in Europe, we have played festivals. Indeed. We, in Europe, played them much like the festivals. Oh, also, in Europe, we played festivals with Stevie Wonder. No! Nothing at all. Our mere presence is special enough. We didn't want to make these other bands look crappy by getting up there on stage and being too good. So what we thought we'd do is just kind of walk out on stage and all over ourselves. Then we found out a lot of the fans thought that was even better than us playing our music. So we've gone back to actually doing a regular set again. Now there are rumors that after the show, we're going to be going down to the Guar Fountain. I mean, the fountain in the middle of the whatever the fountain. We're going to turn it into a big thing and squirts blood everywhere. So, that is true. The rumors are true. After the Guar set tonight, we're going to turn the damn Bonnaroo Fountain into a spewing $5,000 gallon, I mean, billion D, zillion D blood gushy machine. So, when you started Guar, what gave you the inspiration to be so theatrical? Because you humans were so ugly. I looked at uh, a lot of the bands that were popular at the time, like uh, Benji, the dog, and also the Mummenschants. And I thought, that sucks. We need to get some bands out there that are good looking. And uh, of course, aren't afraid to run around with their d***s hanging out. Guar is trying to put the tradition of running around with your d***s hanging out back into Heavy metal. And that's why we're here at Bonnaroo tonight, trying to get people to whip out their d Nice, nice. So what, don't really stay in, like, the rest of the current events, you usually put some of that inspiration in your live sets. Is there anything that we expect tonight? Well, I believe that President Obama is awarding Guar a special medal, the special ass-kicking medal of cool sh it's like the third best one besides the Congressional Medal of Honor. And apparently we're getting it for, def I don't know. I like that movie Hancock with Will Smith. That's a funny movie. Charlize Theron is hot. And what do, you, what do you think that's the same chick that played that chicken monster? What the f are they doing to people in Hollywood? Do they just inject them in the face? with some kind of whale butter and then just make their faces into whatever kind of celebrity they need? Does this mean that Gary Coleman is coming back from the dead on f***ing uh, Brittany Murphy's butt? Can we get Gary Coleman and Brittany Murphy on the set, please? Snorting coke off each other's <laughs> asses? So yeah, I know a lot of people are very upset that Peter Steele and Dio are not playing Bonnaroo this year. And I want you to quit paying attention to these human celebrities and pay more attention to Guar because we're not going to die on you, even if I OD. What? You're going to let that Brett Michaels 
fuck all those Hooters waitresses, and then lay in bed with a goddamn brain aneurysm and still be wearing that bandana, and then you're gonna tell Odorous that his shouldn't be hanging out? What kind of people are running the entertainment industry anyway? Fucking Lionel Barrymore's offspring? Drew Barrymore, the cast of the monsters? It's nepotism. It's favoritism. It's bullshit. What? Oh, we're kicking out. Oh, we also are, I don't know if we mentioned, we are playing a show at Bonnaroo this year. Never, never. This much success? Oh, I thought you meant this little. Uh, no, never. And we haven't. And absolutely not. Next question. What's next to you after that? After Bonnaroo, we finish the rest of this fucking tour. We crush Skatopia. Then we go to Europe. Then we come back to America. Then we go back to Europe. Then we go back to America. Then we go back to America. Then we go back to Antarctica. Then we go back to Mongolia. Then back to Europe, America, Antarctica, Mongolia. That's a heavy tour. Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Ace Frehley, the Grammys, the Muppets, Carrot Top, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Chris Rock, James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett, Julio Iglesias, J Lo, Christine Aguilera, Lady Gaga. What do you think of Dio, man? Die! I love Dio. Dio, we're sorry. But you know what? I'm thinking about Dio. He was 67. <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration for, actually? Dio. Dio. Oh, all oh, that. I get my impression the, from Rich Little, the favorite impressionist, favored. He did a great Doc Severinsen or something. I get my ideas from television mostly and also crack cocaine. I am, well, how you say, a crackhead. A wee wee, as a mocha is a crack cocaine like a motherfucker. I love to smoke crack. I eat it. I eat it on stage. You will see one fucking crack that motherfucker up. I'm on it right now. <laughs> no, never. Why would I do that? It's great. People are like, odorous. Crack. It's fucked up. I'm like, fine. More for me. I know. I mean, why wouldn't you want to do a drug that's expensive, doesn't last very long, and gives you a heart attack? Me, this is mine. I did this myself. This is just something a little something I slipped on. My ensemble. I worked with uh that shithead bitch. That whore. That uh you know, that fat one with the nipples. Beyonce. No. Uh that chick who ran over that little kid, Rebecca Gayhart. Something, I don't know, the bitch, some fatty whose dad was famous. You yeah, that was a joke. Thrown out, thrown out, the actual court was thrown out. <laughs> What's your views on the BP? Tragic? Well, I think it's pathetic, you know. Odorous and Guar, that's me, tried to help with the whole BP thing. We were actually going to airlift Flatus Maximus down to the Gulf of Mexico and lower his interplanetary buttocks on to the gushing well and try a fecal top kill maneuver. But uh, the government, they just, they, it wasn't that they said no, it's that they didn't say no. They sent us some fucking GPS coordinates and a couple Google map things and we just got completely confused. And so, I mean, I think they want that thing to blow up, honestly. I think it's kind of in their best interests. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you, human.